Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I'm back with some more tea. Shout out to all my Caribbean tea sippers who have been sending me the story and wanted me to cover it really bad. Um, the story is about Major Hype, who is a Facebook comedian, and his former fiance. Her name is Letitia Kirby. So for y'all who don't know who Major Hype is, he does a lot of comedy skits on Facebook. Some have been on YouTube. And um, one of his videos blew up back in the day where he talks about, you know, when West Indians or when Caribbean people call the wrong phone number. Y'all go ahead and try out this clip really quick. I don't understand why Thomas would give me this number and this is not the right number. Let me Hold on. Let me see if I see the paper he give me. Hold on. Miss, I don't want to be rude, but no matter what he put on the paper, this is not Thomas' number. Well, maybe you might know him as a tall, fair-skinned guy. His mother name is Mabel. Miss, I do not know Thomas. All right, so you guys just saw that clip. So anyhow, what's going down is this. So back on November 27th, Major Hype basically told all his fans that he had suffered a major heart attack and he got the heart attack because he'd been going through a lot of things. So then what ended up happening is basically... Um, he had put out a video of his fiance supposedly cheating on him and she's getting smashed in the bathroom by some guy. And then he also stated that she was cheating on him with some type of soca singer. So everything got really crazy. People were attacking her. And then on Women Wednesday, she decided to post shocking allegations um, of her being abused. So she posted a picture of herself with her eye looking bloodied. And she says, keep protecting big, hard black men that do shit like this. Keep celebrating men that had a bad week. Hashtag follow Soka. Keep deleting and cheering to life for him. Who the fuck is there for her? So after those shocking pitches hit social media, she then went on to basically apologize to her family for being distant and then went on to talk about how she was in an abusive relationship with this man and she was being beaten and things like that. She made not one but two social media posts about the situation. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys listen to them right now. So y'all go ahead and check this out. What I've been going through... The average person doesn't go through that in a whole lifetime. Um, and I've been keeping it a secret for a long, long time. Um, hiding abuse is a full-time job. You have to detach yourself from your loved ones so they don't know. And I did that for a long time. I protected someone that abused me for a long time. Tonight is about my healing. Tonight is about me taking my power back and no longer protecting the person that has been abusing me. Um, I'm ashamed because I let it go on way longer than it should have. I'm ashamed of myself because I went back so many times. All the reasons that I went back, it, it wasn't good enough. They weren't good reasons. I went back because me going back meant that I loved you or I was proving that I loved you by coming back or that I loved the kids or just trying to prove people wrong that I'm not a gold digger, that I really am here for you. But all of that stops now. The lies, the protecting people, it stops now. Tonight is about my healing and me getting to a better place. And it starts with me being honest with myself and the people around me. I, I have been I have been through a whole, whole lot of things and it's a really, really tough thing to keep that a secret. So I, I wanted to start out by apologizing to my family for, you know, disconnecting myself and pretending that I was okay and going ghost and not answering FaceTimes. Um, the manipulation and everything, it stops now. I'm putting an end, I'm putting an end to it. Um, 
the bashing, the slandering of my name, people inboxing me and telling me that I really didn't love the person and I was there for this and that reason. Every time that I left, it was for a damn good reason. And if me leaving because I'm being abused means that I don't love you, then so be it. I am going to love myself more than that person. Um, imagine, imagine having to hide your bruises and your being battered from your family. Imagine after being abused and assaulted, you have to console the person that hurt you because now they're they're distraught. They they want to harm themselves. So now you you don't even have the chance to heal. You don't even have the chance to be upset. You have to now console that person. Imagine being bruised and battered after imagine going through all of those things and you still have to have sex. You still expected to be delightful like there's nothing wrong with you when your face is unrecognizable imagine letting people know in your circle what's going on with you and their first question is well what did you do as if there was anything that i could have done to deserve that that's disgusting to me that's disgusting because it didn't happen to me once twice Three times, four times, it happened too many times. Too many times. So when you guys, the viewers and the fans, think that you know me or what I've been through, have some respect for yourself. Have some respect as a woman, as a mother, a father. I'm somebody's mother. And I didn't deserve any of that. So how dare you ask me what I did? There's a lot of people contacting me about a lot of crazy things. I've never, ever cheated in my relationship. Not one time. Not one time. So when you get caught doing what you're doing, your first defense is to turn it around on me. You have a huge platform and you think that you can just destroy me. But I'm taking my power back tonight. It stops tonight. The slandering of my name, the abuse, the control, the manipulation, the sexual abuse, I'm putting a stop to it tonight. So you can continue to pretend to be who you are, but I know the truth. And I'm not keeping any secrets anymore. I'm not protecting anymore. Now it's time for me to protect myself protect myself and make back up with my family and my friends that I've cut all ties with to hide this secret. So moving forward, I definitely don't want to speak about it again. I definitely don't want to keep reliving what I've been going through the past couple of years. I just ask that you guys respect what I've been through and, um, I'm not going into hiding like I did the last time. The last time that I left, it was a huge bashing on social media about me. We're not doing that anymore because I know the truth and I know why I left every time that I did. So moving forward, I pray that you guys respect my process and my healing journey because I've been through a whole lot and there's a whole lot of things being said that's not true. And this is the truth. This is what I've been going through. So this was definitely heavy for me to come on here and say uh, on my Women Wednesday. Um, I'm not going to continue, you know, with our regular chat. We'll probably pick it up next Wednesday. I really just wanted to. I just really wanted to clear, clear my my heart and get that weight lifted off of me because people think that they can do whatever to you because they're powerful and they are popular. And I'm just a regular Brooklyn girl and I'm not taking that anymore. 
So the abuse stops tonight and I'm taking my power back tonight and I'm on a journey of healing and I feel good and I feel stronger than I did in years. So with that being said, blessings to everyone. Um, <laughs> don't believe everything you hear because it's not true. People will definitely try to spin things and manipulate you. And that's what has been done to me. And I was a pretty strong-minded person before all of this started. And I, I didn't think that it could happen to me, but it can happen. So um, I just ask that if you choose to stay on my page, follow me, that you respect what I'm, what I'm going through or what I've been through. I've always been really private. I opened up my page to let people in. That was hard. This was hard for me to come out and say that I've been in an abusive relationship for years, that I pretend to be happy. I put on a smile, that I faked it. I treated my family bad in order to hide it. I'm ashamed of that. So I got healing to do and I'm excited about that. And I'm not gonna be ashamed about what I've been through. I'm not gonna be ashamed. So blessings, guys. I appreciate you. Love and light. I'm on a healing journey. And um, I hope you're excited to watch because it's Letitia now, guys. Thank you, guys. Love you. Pray for me. to speak about it again but I knew that it was gonna go here and like I said last night I'm not letting anyone put me into hiding or shame me under a rock now instead of being a man major hype and apologizing publicly to your fans to me after everything that I said instead you release a sex tape of me and are sending it all over the place all over the world a sex tape of me from 10 years ago what do you think that that is going to prove what do you think that that is going to prove you think that that is going to make you look like a better person releasing a sex tape of me from years ago you think that that's going to make you look like a good person you think that is the answer. So people are sending me this tape left and right from years ago. And the tape, my hair is short. My hair is all black. At the end of my hair is red. You could, I, I, you know what? I don't even have to go into that. I don't even have to go into that. I didn't go into detail about what the fuck you did to me. But I'm not going to shut up. You're not going to shut me up and put me under a rock. You're not going to shame me. You should be ashamed. You should be ashamed for faking a heart attack, looking for sympathy. You should be ashamed. You broke my phone because you saw that I had all the pictures of my bruises and my faces. My face, you broke my phone. And now you're going through my phone and digging up old stuff from my old phone and releasing it to people. When does it stop? When do you take accountability and stop looking for sympathy? You're a sick, sick man, and I'm not keeping your secrets anymore. Every time you try to hurt me, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. You didn't have no heart attack. You did not have a heart attack. Okay? Stop looking for sympathy and own your shit. Own what you did to me. I didn't post a picture of my black eyes and my bruises. You put me in the hospital. I didn't tell, come out and say that. I made a general statement. And this is what I get. You releasing a sex tape of me. You releasing a sex tape of me. Coming up to the end of it, you tried to kill me. You pulled out a gun on me. You pull out a gun on me and then turn around looking for sympathy and cut your arm in front of my face. Start slicing open your arm in front of my face. It's a sick game that you're playing, but I'm not playing a game. This is my life and you're trying to ruin me. And I know the truth about you. I know who you really are. I know who you really are. I have a son and you're going to put out a sex tape on me? You want people to think that I was cheating? Is that it? Even if I was, even if I was, it's no excuse for what you did to me. It's no excuse for what you're, what you're doing, what you're still trying to do. And I'm not going to be quiet. You're not going to shame me. Send the sex tape wherever you want. Send it wherever you want. You still have to get up and look in the mirror. 
You still have to get up and look in the mirror. Nigel, you still have to fight your demons. So you could try to break me down all you want. God knows. God knows what I've been through. I'm too strong. I'm too strong for that. I took your crap for too long. And you still trying to give me the business? Send in a sex tape? Listen. Listen. I don't even want to come on here with that energy. I'm so furious. I'm so tired of you thinking that you have that power and control over me. I'm not going to be quiet. I'm not going to be quiet. Leave me alone. You have my phone. You clone my phone. You download it to your computer. All my personal stuff. I was expecting this for you to leak my nudes. For you to leak whatever it is that I had on my phone. And I'm still here. And I'm still saying I never cheated on you. Everything that you're putting out there is from years ago. Stop lying to people. Stop lying to people. Put your discharge paper out from the hospital. Put that out. Put that out. Let them see what you what what they released you with, what your diagnosis with chest pains, unspecified type. You didn't have a heart attack. Say you have a heart attack in the same night you 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 get out. You you want to fight me? You want to pull out a gun on me? Break my phone? Crash into my car? Listen, listen. We're not gonna we're not gonna do this no more. We're not gonna do this no more. The, what you should have done was come on here and apologize and make a public apology and acknowledge and own up to the person that you've been and seek help. But you continue your narcissist behavior with releasing that tape of me. You're disgusting. You're a disgusting man. And everyone around you that's hyping you up, making you feel like what you're doing is right. That's not making you look better. You look like a piece of crap that you are. You look like a piece of crap. You're a sad, sad man. You're a sad person. And you're not going to fucking take me down with you. You're not. Send your sex tape. Do whatever you, you need to do. You're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. All the shit that you've done to me, I kept it a secret. Everything that I've been through with you, I've been keeping a secret. After I'm gone, you still trying to hurt me. You still trying. Like, I, I don't understand who does that. Who, who says they love somebody? Wanted to marry them. Asked to marry them and could do that to them. Could beat them. Could hit them. Could black both of their eyes like that. And then you mad because I leave. You mad. Every time I leave, you mad. You want to talk about me. I'm this and I'm that. Tell them what you did. Tell them what you did. Tell them when I left you, you did voodoo on me. Tell them that. I have the paper. I have the paper. You, you're you sick. And you're talking about spiritual warfare. You're the fucking demon. You're the demon. You're the demon. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. I'm not going to let... I'm not going out like that. I'm not letting him do that to me. Sex tapes and you posting fucking prayers and all of this stuff. And it's you the devil. You the devil. Go ahead and keep looking for sympathy. You're sick. You're sick. Who does that to someone that they said they love? You could have never loved me. You could have never, never. Yeah, let everyone log on and talking about that video that you post, that you're fucking sending around of me, an old ass video. You're disgusting. I knew that that, I knew that that was, I knew that that was going to happen. You have my phone, you clone my phone, you looking through my stuff, old stuff you digging up. You're the one that was, how do you get caught cheating? How do you get caught cheating? Your first response is to snatch my phone. You want to go through my phone. You are, you are sick. You're sick. You're a sick person. I never call the cops on you. I never call the cops on you. I never did nothing like that to you. Still trying to protect you and your image and your career. That you, this facade you put on to be this positive person. People don't know. People don't know who you are, but I know who you are. So keep trying to what you want people to think. I'm a slut. Whatever you want people to think. All of this stuff, it don't make you look like a good man, sir. It don't make you look like a good man. So that's what I'm dealing with, y'all. I spoke my truth last night. 
and I'm on a pro I'm on a journey of healing and that's the next thing that hits this morning everybody's sending me a video of me having sex with somebody from years ago he wants people to think that's a recent video I'm not a cheater you are sir I'm not abusive you are sir if people saw my face I still didn't post any pictures of my face. You, I don't understand. After everything that you've done to me, you still can't humble yourself. You still can't take accountability. You, you really need help. You really need help. You really need help. Y'all, this man, this man, this man that y'all idolize and y'all think is so great. He will go to any lengths to be a victim, to be right, to ruin me. He's done it time and time before. I expect a word. I, I see because I was nervous last night that I didn't, I didn't touch it, but I meant to, to, to say that, that I knew that he was going to try to expose my nudes. I knew that he was going to do that. But go, you, you were digging a deeper hole for yourself, sir. Everybody got a naked picture. Everybody got something from their past that they ashamed of. That video was not recent. You sending it to people and you got a bigger problem. I wish you the best of luck. I hope you seek help because this is th this ain't the answer for you. You guys just saw both of her videos. So this caused a lot of backlash. People started attacking Major Hype. He was trending all over social media. So now as of yesterday, he did an hour live stream and basically explained his side of the story. He talked about that he's not an abuser. The person who's abusive is Letitia Kirby. He also stated that on top of him being abused by her, he was also molested and she threw it in his face. He said that the family was doing voodoo on them. It was just a bunch of mess. So he went in for a while. Um, I'm just going to post a 10 minute clip. I'm not going to post a whole hour. Y'all can go ahead and see what he has to say. If you want to watch the full video, it's on his Instagram page. Y'all go ahead and check this out. First thing I want to do is I want to say Thank you to everyone who has been supportive in this challenging time. Second thing I want to say is that I apologize to all of the women that has been affected by this situation. This situation is a really tough situation, a really, a really, uh, serious situation and allegations that has been uh bestowed upon me and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna address every single thing that you think you know she said my mother and my grandmother is wicked yo they really voodooing me to stay with this man so this is something that they've been into obviously so the guy that she was dealing with, which is her niece's uncle, when we decided to get serious, she told me, I don't know if this is the story, I don't know if this is correct, but she told me that this man was threatening her to put out her sex tape. The sex tapes that he has with her, he was threatening her. He said he was going to um, make paper, he's going to print papers with her nudes and put it all over the hood because she's originally from Schenectady and Empire. So she was gonna put, he was going to put it all over there and all of that. As a kid growing up, I watched my mother. We went to my father's house and my mother went to, to tell him that I needed a bicycle. I was six years old. She went to his house. She told my father, your son needs a bicycle. Your son needs a bicycle. And my father looked out the window and he told her that if he comes downstairs, she's going to regret it. My mother and my father wasn't together at the time. He had his family. My mother had her people. And that's what it was. But I remember it like it was yesterday because this is something that I've lived through all my life. I was six years old. And these things I've confided into Kirby with. 
My father came downstairs with a machete in his hand. The story that I was told was that he tried to hit her with the side of the machete. But he chopped my mother's hand. And my mother's hand was hanging from a thread. And I sat there as a six-year-old child and watched that whole thing. And I used my comedy and my drive to become who I am today. So for somebody to try to destroy me after I've been nothing but good to this person, Some people is just so wicked, Kirby. But people is wicked. For y'all to come on here and disrespect me and disrespect my family. And y'all don't know. Y'all have no idea what I've been through. Not, not a, even a piece. Not even a piece of what I've been through. I was molested as a child. I confided in somebody about it, which is Kirby. I told her, I said, listen, I've been through a lot and I just want to know that you're here for me. I told her I was molested as a child from a male family member. And she took that and she used it as ammunition. We had an argument. She told me that I'm a faggot. She threw all of that in my face. She hacked into my computer, found my password, and she was looking through my Texas and I'm not gonna I'm, like I said I'm not gonna sit here and play like I'm a saint but I'm gonna tell you the truth after the conversation that me and Kirby had where she where she threw my molestation in my face when she threw me having a smaller penis than the man that she was with before and all of these things that she was saying you see an argument is an argument and we could throw insults at each other but when you take the things that was confided in you and throw it in their faces a different level. I was flirting with these people and I, and I had, I did have a sexual uh, experience with one of the people. I did. And it made me feel so bad, but it wasn't, it wasn't actual sex. It was, it was oral sex. She was really hard on me about it, which I expected. I expected her to be hard and I was expected, I was, I, was, I was ready for whatever the consequences were. And I said, you know what? People who do this, they do it because they have something to hide. And this is when I took her phone. So this is the things that I saw on, on, in Kirby's phone. Somebody so, so, so these are the things that I was seeing. I saw this. I saw this, which is the great famous Nate that's in that video. I saw this. I saw this. Otis. I saw this. This is all 2019. This, this right here, this is actually the same ex that she told me wanted to wanted to uh, expose her 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 sex tape. But this is Moto. She was talking to Moto while she was talking to me. December 20, 29th, 9, 20, 2019. He, he pinned where he was and said, here, this is, this is when 
we went to L.A. You, 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 saw the, you saw it, and she said she was in L.A. Yes, he flew you out. Yes. While I'm on stage trying to make a dollar to feed my family, while I bring her on the stage and telling everybody that this is my wife, you're telling a man that you're going to be back and you're going to see him when, he get, when you get back. This is all when we was in L.A. She claimed that I did voodoo to her. She said I was doing voodoo on her, right? A friend of mine's, when we was going through our problems, introduced us to someone that was supposed to be a spiritual man. Right? Me and Kirby both decided that we wanted this man to help us through our problems and you know, he, he was a spiritual man and he could pray over us and do whatever he had to do to make sure that we was okay. This man was a Haitian man. We both decided that this is what we was, wanted to do. The man did a spiritual reading and the man said that the same guy that has been doing, that has been threatening her, put out her sex tape and all that, has been doing voodoo on her. I still have love for Kirby today. You understand me? Now, if anybody knows Kirby, an argument will definitely turn into a fight because she likes to hit people. She likes to, she likes to disrespect people. That's her thing. So I put the cover over my head and I'm just ignoring her. That's when I felt, boom, she punched me in, on the side of my face. I got up, I tried to restrain her and she's just swinging at me, swinging, swinging, swinging. After that, the kids got up, she went in the room, she started packing her suitcase. She said, I'm no good and I'm always starting stuff and I'm gonna leave and she tried to leave and all me and all the kids sat down by the pool with her and I told her, I said, listen, let's put that behind us. Let's put that behind us. Let's not mess up this family vacation for that, that we put together and for, and for the kids. And we all convinced her to stay and she stayed. That's one incident. I was driving on the highway. She called me a nigga. She want to fight. She told me she wanted to fight. I'm ready. What's up? I said, I'm not going to fight you, Kirby. She said, I know. What you're going to do is cry like a bitch like you always do. Then she said to me, I will run this fucking car off the road. I said, Kirby, do not touch the steering wheel. Three minutes later, she tried to run us off the road. She grabbed it again. She grabbed it again and then punched me in my face. Repeatedly punched me in my face. Started beating on me while I'm driving and I'm trying to defend myself. Okay? So, the abuser is trying to act like they are the ones that has been abused. God know everything that was going on and God knows everything. So you guys that's out there that sees my life as an entertainment, this is not love and hip hop. This is two people that is hurt, that needs healing and needs honesty and needs somewhere for, for comfort. Thou shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I appreciate y'all time. Y'all stay blessed. God bless. All right. So you guys just saw both of those videos. And in my personal opinion, like I always tell y'all, there are three sides to every story. His, hers, and the truth. Okay. And from looking at this situation, not knowing any of these individuals, um, I think both of them, I think they're both in a very toxic relationship. Okay. Somebody definitely put hands on her because her eye is bloody. She definitely has a lot of pictures to back up her abuse. He claims that she also hit him and he was physically abused and, and bruised up. He's not posting those pictures. 
but somehow he can find a sex tape of hers to post. So I'm giving him the side eye on that because if you can have the sex tape, you should also have pictures showing where you were physically abused as well. You know, um, like I said, the whole situation is just really disturbing. Um, no one deserves to go through any abuse, be it male or female. You know, if you cannot stand being in your relationship any longer, it's just better for you to just get out of it. Because if you continue this way in the way that both of them are going, this is how people end up dead. The whole tit for tat, you cheat, I'm going to cheat, you piss me off, I'm going to piss you off even more. This is how folks end up getting killed. And it's not that serious. So this entire situation is very, very disturbing. She hasn't said anything yet to, you know, to address his claims. But like I said, if you want to watch his full video, it's on Instagram. But this entire situation is very disturbing. Um, she also stated that he faked the heart attack and he's doing a lot of stuff for sympathy. Some people are saying that he comes off like a narcissist and a master manipulator. You know, the whole thing is just crazy. And I see why people are going insane behind this. But I believe that they need to just separate and both seek counseling at this point because none of this shit is cool, especially being that this is being done in front of children is even more disturbing. So anyways, y'all, I don't want to make this video too long. I want to know y'all's opinion on this entire situation. And how do you feel about what Lakeisha Kirby had to say? And then how do you feel about what Major Hype had to say in rebuttal? And do you agree with me that they're both in a toxic situationship and they need to get out of it before somebody ends up dead? Because this is not okay what's going on between the two of them. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Last but not least, make sure to share the video and hit the notification bell so that we can be done with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.